Hi everybody, welcome back to another Stampin' on Friday video. Today we're going to be making a Father's Day card and I just uh, thought we, we would start with our paper cutting. So I just pulled out a piece of scrap paper, this is one I've used uh, before, and I'm going to cut down a piece of this cardstock at uh, 3 and 3 quarter by 5 inches. And this is going to be one of the layers on our card. And then I'm going to save this um, because I'm going to do a little die cutting here in a minute. And the next thing I'm going to do is take my brown cardstock, and this is paper tray ink cardstock, and cut this down to five and a half inches. And this will be used for the base of my card. So the next thing I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and score my cardstock, and I'm going to score this at four and a quarter. So this will make a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card. And that'll be the base to my card. So the next thing I want to do is I'm just going to set these aside for a second. I'm going to take my piece of um, cardstock uh, scrap that I had and I'm going to grab my cuddle bug. And I'm going to be using um, two stamp sets today. Uh, one is called Tiny Tags. And the other one is called um, back, Background Basic Newsprint, and these are both paper tray ink. And I'm going to use the dies that match the tiny tags. So I'm going to need my plates here. So I need my A plate, my B plate, my card stock, and my tags. And I'm going to be using, um, I think, either this tag or this tag. I haven't really decided, so I just want to make sure those are the ones that get cut out. And I'm just going to go ahead and run this through. Just move my cuddle bug out of the way here. So I'm going to be using, I think I'm going to use this one here. Nice little tiny tag. Get my paper piercer out and just poke the, the little hole. So I'm going to take that tag and I'm going to use the stamp that coordinates with it, which is this one right here. Okay, so I'm going to use some Jenny Bolin ink, and this one is the brown sugar. And I'm just going to go ahead and ink up my stamp. And then center that right here on my tag. Okay, so that's our tag. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to clean off my, my stamp here first. And I'm going to be using, there's a little dad stamp in here, so I'm just going to use that. And that would be, let's see, this one right here. And I'm going to stamp that right in the center of my tag. Right, so that'll take care of that. I'm just going to set this aside for now. And the next thing I'm going to do is use my piece of four and a quarter by five inch cardstock that I cut out. And I'm going to use the um, newsprint, background newsprint stamp. And I'm just going to go ahead and build um, a little newspaper here. So I'm just going to use this is the um, banner to the newspaper. So I'm just going to go ahead and mount that on my block here. And again, I'm still using, I'm pretty much going to use um, the brown sugar ink through the whole card here. So I'm just going to go ahead and stamp up, or ink up my stamp rather. And I'm going to stamp the daily news right across the top here. Okay. that off. I'm going to go ahead and take the next stamp, which is kind of the article, and I'm just going to go ahead and mount that right onto my block. It's 
not very straight, so let me do it this way. If you want to make sure you get it on straight, just set your stamp down on your, your work surface and then mount that to your, to your block. So I'm going to ink that up again. So basically what we're doing is just building up a newspaper. I'm going to stamp that right underneath my newspaper headline. And the next one I'm going to use is the little ad. This is the little ads for the newspaper, so I'm going to put those on my block. I'll ink that up. And then I'm going to stamp this right underneath my article and there's already lines in the stamp so I just have to line up and I'll apologize now if my head gets in the way so I'm just gonna line up those lines and then stamp my next line here and I still have a little bit of a space down in the bottom so I'm gonna go ahead and go back with my article print and stamp another line of that And again, I'm going to line up the lines. Just like that. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is I'm going to take um, some old, uh, old paper distress ink and ink up the edges of my little newspaper print here. Well, before they do that, actually, I'm going to go ahead and use my little um, distressing tool here and I'm not going to do the whole thing I'm just going to kind of go around in spots and distress my newspaper because I want it to look like it's an old newspaper okay and then I'm going to go ahead and ink up the edges with my old news old I can want us to call this old newspaper now old paper distressing So I'm just going right around the edges. Okay, I'll set that aside. And I'm just going to quickly clean up my desk here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead now and take my um, paper piercer and I'm just going to kind of curl the one edge of my newspaper. I didn't want this to be perfectly flat. So I'm just going to go ahead and curl that a little bit. And then I'll add a little extra ink on there too. So what I'm going to do now is take some of this vintage twine and I'm going to wrap this around so it looks like a bundle of newspapers. So I'm going to start by going right across the front and then I'll wrap it around the back and then to the front again. So I just want to make sure this is in the center and I need to make this one side a little bit longer. And I'm just going to go ahead and tie a knot right in the center. Just like that. So I'll trim off my little end here. And then the last thing I want to do is, and I'll do that, um, well, I'll do that first. I'm going to go ahead and just take my little dad tag that I made here. Tie a little bow. And then using some dimensional adhesive, I'm going to go ahead and pop this right onto the front of my card. 
That's just going to get centered right on the front of my card. Just like that. And then I'm just going to go ahead and add a little dimension to the back of my, my tag so it stays in place. So there we go. That's our card for today. Thanks for watching another episode of Creations with Christina. I'll see you next time. Bye.